what is going on you guys crypto hacks with tba coming at you with another video uh last video we talked about hot wallets uh wallets crypto wallets that are connected to the internet and today we are going to be talking about cold wallets all right now cold wallets are crypto wallets that are not connected to the internet they're also referred to as hardware wallets if you truly want to protect your crypto uh, to where it's nearly impossible to be hacked cold wallets are the way to go it was from my own hacking experience that now i own three different cold wallets all right but let's do a little let's dive into this let's see let's 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 see what cold wallets are according to investopedia cold wallet or cold storage is an off offline wallet used for storing bitcoins now they have wallets out there that can store a lot more than just uh bitcoins all right some of these wallets you have to create what's called an account inside that wallet which can hold different cryptocurrencies that are attached to different um blockchains like ethereum uh, the Binance Smart Chain, Polygon, Solana, and so forth. All right. It does say for storing Bitcoins. There, I believe there is a wallet that stores just strictly Bitcoin, I believe. But in the crypto world, the, this world is ever changing. So that could be uh, old information now. Okay. With cold storage, the digital wallet is stored on a platform that is not connected to the Internet. All right. Thereby protecting the wallet from unauthorized access. So basically, in order to gain access to that crypto, you have to have that device. OK, you could sit here and look at the uh, the app and everything in it. But without that device, they, you cannot take any funds out. You cannot uh, add any funds and you cannot uh, uh, transfer them to any other exchange. OK. Key takeaways, most cryptocurrency wallets are digital, but hackers can sometimes gain access to these stores, tools, and spider of security measures designed to prevent theft. All right. Cold storage is a way of holding cryptocurrency tokens offline, meaning, and when they say offline, meaning they're not connected to the internet. But going back to the first point, um, hackers can sometimes gain access to these stores, tools, and spider of security measures designed to prevent theft. It's still possible. I am unaware of any stories of them being hacked in fact the joke i heard was the only way a cold storage wallet can be hacked is with a file it was what's called a uh, five dollar wrench hack and you go to the store spend five dollars and you just bash them in the head steal their wallet and take it but even these cold wallets have uh recovery rate recovery phases just like hot wallets all right by using cold storage, cryptocurrency investors aim to prevent hackers from being able to access their holdings via traditional means. All right. And what that means, they can't use software no matter what they do. They could probably see your assets on there, but they cannot. They have no access to it. OK, the one downside that I've personally seen with cold wallets are it's a lot harder to putting your money on there and off there especially if you're an active trader if you want to buy or sell something then you have to get it off of that device and and transfer it over into a a hot wallet or an exchange it can be very uh tedious sometimes all right so let's look at i got uh three of the uh a wallet the cold wallets that i use so let's look into them all right first one there's ledger okay and this is the actual website for ledger now me personally i have the ledger nano x i did purchase that that is the one i use the most uh i store crypto on there that i plan on holding long term especially if it's a crypto that's newer uh and i, I plan on holding long term don't plan on doing anything with it but there's no exchange out there that has this token available i'll put it on my ledger nano x and with the ledger nano x it, you it's like bluetooth you connect your device to it with the bluetooth you get a recovery phrase phrase you have to enter it in 
And that's how you do it. Any transaction, any taking any money off of there, cryptocurrency off of there, putting it on there, you need this device. Okay. And then you also have to set up a pin, just like a a pin for your debit card. All right. And how you manipulate and activate it, that circle right there and right there are your buttons. Okay. It's a little smaller, but it does work. I do personally like it. And it has its own app that you can download as well. All right. The Ledger Nano X is the top of the line for the Ledger brand, and that's going to set you back $149, okay? Again, how much is uh, your assets worth to you, all right? And again, I got into all these cold storage, uh, what these cold wallet storage is after I got hacked, all right? Now, when you purchase cold wallets, you only want to get them from the website the actual website okay because here's what happens next page you go right here and you see people are selling them for like 59 dollars all right ebay i found one on ebay for like 28 dollars all right there are so many malicious people out there the, the one way that they will try to hack you they'll buy them themselves they'll manipulate the device and they'll put it back on the market for 59 dollars all right Places like eBay, Amazon, all these third-party uh, websites where you're buying them from somebody else. Do not buy a cold wallet storage from a third-party website. Only purchase them from the main website. And in this case, it's going to be Ledger. All right. Moving right along, we have Trezor. All right. Now, Trezor is another cold wallet storage that uh, does have a cable that you can connect directly to your phone or the computer, okay? I have a Trezor Model T. That's the one I have. It's going to set you back about $215 or 189 euros, okay? Now, again, oh, and before I pr- proceed, all these websites of these cold wallet storages are also in the description. So if you want to purchase one, um, you could go directly to there, all right? Now, Trezor Model T is what I own. I also have, but I've never used it. One, I don't do any financing on my computer. Two, if you are an Apple user, an iPhone user, you are out of luck because the uh, the wires that they have to connect directly to the Trezor only work on Samsung products or other computers. They don't have a cable that works for iPhone. All right. I heard that there's one coming out, uh, but as of yet, I have yet to see it. All right, but that's just another cold wallet option for you. And right here, again, don't be, but don't, don't go on Amazon or eBay or any of these third party sites. Do not do it because you don't know where they're coming from. You don't know who's done what to that device. There could be something in there that's able to gain access some other way to something else. Only buy it from the website. Again, I have the links to this website and to Trezor and to Ledger in the link. So that way, again, if you want to invest in a cold wallet, you already have them right there at your fingertips, which I highly recommend. Anybody looking to get into crypto and, and be active in it, I think should have at least two cold wallets. All right. And last but not least, now I want to explain the Arculus wallet here. This was the very first um, cold wallet that I had purchased because when I got hacked, first thing I was looking at was how do I how do I change it and see the hacking that I experienced took place on a uh, hot wallet directly connected to uh, Shiba Swap. So there was no one eight hundred number. There was no customer support. I was out of that money. I'm not going to put the amount out there because that's a different video, but. Arculus wallet uh, is pretty cool because you actually hold the card up to your phone. I made the mistake and uh, I bought, I purchased the Arculus card and then I watched a review on it. This is actually a, a newer uh, cold storage that's out there. Uh, very new. I found one video to it. Uh, I can't remember the name of his channel, but he did a very good video on it and he did not recommend it. So now I'm thinking, oh my goodness, now I got to deal with that. I've just spent money on this card. I don't even know if it works. Um, I'm very happy with Arculus card. The one downside I will say, they only have about 16 different tokens that can be stored on the Arculus card. But as for ease of use, it's amazing. Whatever issues they were having before, 
they fixed it, I believe, because when I got the Arculus card, I've had no issues with it whatsoever. In fact, the Arculus card is going to set you back $99. That does not include tax or the shipping fee. So I think when I got it, I was right around $120 once I got everything because I wanted it next day. You know, after I got my stuff hacked, you just feel victimized. Like, what do I do? And you know but the price is still the same base the base price is $99 there's no different variations or nothing like that but the, the that's cold cold wallet storage again just like hot wallets they have their perks they have their setbacks but this is the this is the best way to protect your crypto whenever you are an investor all right and so that's going to do it for this video again I'm not a financial advisor. This isn't financial advice for you to buy, sell, or hold any stock or crypto. You must exercise your own due diligence. In the description, I have links. Uh, Coinbase, if you buy or sell $100 worth of any crypto, you and I will both receive $10 on Bitcoin. Crypto.com, you sign up and start trading. You will receive $25 uh, in a gift from Crypto.com. Um Webull, you sign up in the link in the description for Webull, then uh, you will get at least one uh, stock that is valued, that could be valued up to $6,300. And of course, I have a link for KuCoin as well. So be sure you check those links out. And that's it for this video. Y'all take care. All right.